Hey y'all, Crescenda here. I decided to get some faux ivy vines after seeing Kyla Shay's filming setup and I thought hers was so cute and I was like, mm, I'm doing that. I figured it would be a cute video and picture backdrop for my own filming setup. So if you wanna see me hang my faux ivy vines, keep on watching. Here's a quick pan of my room before the faux vines went up. No vines? Vines. These command hooks work great for this DIY project. Here are the vines. I got a total of five packs from two different sellers. Whew, those vines did not smell good, but luckily the smell did not last long. I know y'all are probably wondering like, Why'd you even mention that they were from two different sellers? That's pretty important because from those two different sellers, the lengths are different. And as you can see right here, the color of one pack is darker than the other pack. The vines are between six and seven feet each. Here are some of the fibers that came off as I was unraveling the bundles. Here I am taking my little decorations off the wall and using my husband's extra long level to draw a line so that my hooks will all be in a row. The directions on the command hook said to clean the area where you're going to be putting the hooks with rubbing alcohol. Right here, I'm pulling apart the hooks and the sticky tabs. If you're using these same hooks that I am, make sure that the opening is facing upwards like the letter U. Grab one hook and one sticky tab, take the red and white film off, and then place it flush with the top of the hook. To make the process easier and way, way faster, you will want to separate the vines before you start hanging them up because they tangle like crazy. Make sure you put the sticky tabs on all the hooks. Right here, I'm gauging how far apart I want each hook. I decided to go with a full hand width apart, which for me is seven inches. I'm using my hand to measure where I want each hook to go, drawing a little dash and then putting the hooks up. I'm placing two vines to a hook, but three vines will fit perfectly and four is definitely pushing it. As I hung them, I made one side longer than the other. The short side of both vines that's on one hook was on the same side because when you hang the vines on the next hook, it just flows so perfectly. On each hook, I use one of the darker green vines and one light one. Once you get them up, the slight color difference isn't even noticeable though. So when you're hanging the vines, you'll probably be standing on a ladder like I was and the bottom of the vines are way lower than you. So while I was hanging them, they looked like they were all even, but when I got down to look at it, they definitely were not. So I did have to go back in and adjust a lot of the vines. This right here is two packs with one left over. And if you were wondering, this wall is about six feet, seven inches. Hey, that. He's so dramatic. Thank you. 
You can see that it was pretty spacey on the bottom half and that's because I did one side longer than the other. So I'm going in with the tape at first because I knew that I'd probably have to move them around quite a bit to get them where I wanted them. And then you just go in, take the tape off and put the hook where the tape was. Drew asked to help, so I let him hang a few. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please share this video with someone you think would love to create their own faux vine wall. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.